One, two, three, four. Thanks for checking out the lesson here for Precious Memories in the key of E. And we're going to be working out of D position, but again, sounding the key of E. And as you saw and heard there, I played through the verse and the chorus for this tune. Now, I took the melody um, from a performance from Alan Jackson. He did, he did a bunch of gospel bluegrass stuff a while ago. And there's a performance of him on YouTube. And I just thought the way he sung it and the way they performed it was brilliant. And this melody is so beautiful and it's catchy. So I took as best as I could, the way he sung it and arranged it here for this lesson. We're gonna start walking through that first half right here on YouTube right now. We're gonna put the tabs on the screen, bring the camera on in. If you'd like to access the full length version and download the tabs, the audio tracks, and access the Slow Down Our Looper, click the link in the description to learn how. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click subscribe, click the bell so you know when new lessons like these come out. Let's start digging into it. Thanks for watching. All right, so now I know there's a four bar intro at the top, a, a little bit of a vamp, if you will, going on the one chord. And I'll cover that in a separate video clip. I wanna dive right into the lesson portion here, the main lesson, the solo for Precious Memories. We have capo on the third fret, and we're playing out of D position, which we're sounding the key of E. So we're gonna start at measure four on the tab sheet, but let's break this first little pickup down and it starts on the and of beat two. Okay, so that D string, the open D is on the upstroke, is on the and of beat two. That first marking is a three, right? It's tied over from the intro. And then there's a little eighth note rest in there. And then that's on beat two. And on the and of two, it's open D. And then two, four hammer on the D. And then G string, second fret. And B string, third fret. It's a really nice little move that I use very often in, D, in the D position. And then we're gonna land on the second fret of the G. And if you're not already familiar with this shape, I strongly suggest you get comfortable using it. We're gonna be doing it in this piece. And it's a D slash F sharp. So we have a D chord here, and then an F sharp in the bass, right there on the fourth fret of the D. Um, and you can even include the A string in there, open A too as well. But it's such a pretty sound. And then I have the high E open, so it almost acts as a D9. Okay, D9 slash F sharp. Not to get too confusing, but it's a beautiful sound and we use, I use it a lot in this position. So again, that little pickup. And then let's put the next four up on the screen. Okay, so we came from, and then we landed on the second fret of the G. That's a downbeat in measure five. Now you see right there, there's a tie. Another tie, or we haven't talked about the ties yet, I'm referring to the intro, but it's a tie there. We play this, one, two, and we hold for beat two. Notice there's no pick direction below it, so we don't play it, okay? I'm, I'm following the melody as close as I can to the version I was going off of, which is an Alan Jackson. Uh, version. I thought you just did a wonderful job, a rendition, if you will, of the tune. But uh, so yeah, one, two. 
And then on beat three, you pluck it again. And then two times on beat four. Pretty simple measure, really. One, two, three, four, and. And then two, four hammer on the G. And then three on the B. And then these next set of eighth notes is essentially just a strum. Okay? One and two, three and four and. If you hit the other strings, the D or the high E, that's totally fine. I'm trying to stick right to those two strings just to keep it clean. Okay? And then we're gonna go to a G chord. And you notice it's a three with a circle around it, which means half note. So there's two counts there. Okay, so it might seem like a little bit of a long hold. We still wanna keep the right hand moving. Two. And then on beat three, play the G open and the B on the third fret. Okay? One, two, three, and then four and on the third fret B. Okay, again, we're not a half note. You know, I'm keeping my right, don't just stay stiff. And then hurry to the next note. Keep it kind of, uh, you know, going with the pulse. Uh, one, two, three, four, and. And then right here we slide to the fourth fret, G with the second finger, and then back down to two. And then we do a little bit of a cross pick roll, if you will. Get really utilizing that D9 sound, that E string. So E, B, G, B. We're gonna be doing more of that in this arrangement as well. So let me break down, let me play all five of those measures. I'm gonna start in measure four with the pickup and play those first few so you can hear them in context. So one, two. time. One, two. Two, three, four, and two. Okay. Moving on, the next four, they sound like this. just to measure 13 there, just a bit. So yeah, measure nine, you know, kind of finishes that roll we were doing. So measure nine, open D string, and then we strum. And then two zero pull on the high E. And then um, third fret on the B string, two eighth notes there. So sorry, one, two, three, and four, and measure 10. One and so again we have another tie. Notice that little uh, that little marking there above the threes, and there's no pick direction on the second one. So we tie over to that note. One and two and then we go to five. Use your third finger, and then we go to seven. Use your third finger. One and two and three four. And then measure 11, uh, we play seven, back to five. And we're gonna sh make this shape right here. This is often referred to it as the F shape. Um, we're playing an A chord here. You can learn more about these shapes. I talked in depth about these shapes in the, in the DFA course, the Developing Fretboard Awareness course. And uh, we just, again, we just go in depth and talk about how to use them across the fretboard. So, a one and two, we have another tied note there, measure 11, in the same place too as measure 10. And then we play six on the G, five on the E, B, G, B. So again, another little cross picking move there. One and two and three and four and, and then we land on the seventh fret of the D string. And then I strum that A chord. And then I play seven, and then I play five. You gotta shift down there. So all four of those, 
two, ready, go. back down a measure 13 we're gonna play that d f sharp one more time two three four okay let's move on here 13 14 15 and 16 almost the same as um five through eight Again, repeating that phrase um, as an A prime almost, but yeah, just slightly different. I just um, just tweaked a few different things. So here's what they sound like. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Okay. So measure 13. Again, we're kind of like walking down and then we're landing in this shape right here, that D slash F sharp. And it's such a pretty sound. I like the way it resolves. And you notice that little marking there. Um, I'm, I'm having it mean brush stroke. So we're brushing across all four strings, D, G, B, and E, and it's a half note, so two counts. Sometimes I might catch that A in there. I don't always mean to. Half note there, one, two, three, four, and next measure, two, four, hammer on the G, three on the B, strum here, three and four, and we go to G chord, quarter note this time on the low string, and then G and B, G open, B on the third fret, so one. just a different timing there you could certainly do it same way for measure seven I just syncopated it and again I was really trying to follow the performance and they again just phrase things ever so slightly different when they're singing so one two and three four and so there's another tied rhythm in there and then 16 slide to four on the G back down to two and then do our little uh, cross pick over the D. Land on the open D. So those four, one more time. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let me play it one more time. I'm going to go for measure 12 so you can hear it kind of resolve in there. I really like the way it sounds. So, two, ready, go. So if you want to access, again, the full length version and download the tabs, if you're not already a Premier member, click the link in the description below, or you can watch some other gospel lessons around me. And um, yeah, till next time, take care. Mm -hmm.